Basically, this was a couple weeks ago when, when uh, President Bush addressed the NAACP for the first time in four years. He had been invited every year to address their convention and decided this was the time he was going to do it. He mentioned a, a lot of issues that he thought uh, that were of interest to the black community, AIDS, crime, education. Uh, those who I spoke with after the conference were disappointed because they said that he didn't bring up the Iraq war or the war on terror, and, and they felt like he was addressing them as a special interest group as opposed to a group that has those type of larger issues in, in invested as well. What is the most important issue that a black leader needs to identify and address this day and age? Is it the war on terror? Is it, is it something else? All right, well, let me, let me answer that, and I wanted to address what you asked him when you uh, asked Ike if whether the Republicans were handing the baton better. First of all, none of who you name has won any of these seats they're running for. So we don't know if they handed them a, the baton or a bat over their head until November, because they may not win. Uh, there's no you know, just because Lynn Swan and 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 Steele and Blackwell's running, they may be yesterday's news, November. And you know that better than anybody else. Next, secondly, in terms of uh, what black leaders should be addressed is according to what the black leaders discipline is. There has always been this notion of should we have a single black leader today? We never had a single black leader. We had Martin Luther King in the South, Malcolm X in the North, Thurgood Marshall in the courts, Adam Clayton Powell in the Congress, Fannie Lou Hamer in Mississippi, all at the same time. So how do we get to the 21st century and let people ask us questions that we never had. As you probably introduced this, Du Bois and, and Washington had a debate 100 years ago. So which black leader should be addressing what? Those of us in civil rights would say we're concerned about voter rights and disenfranchisement and affirmative action. Those that are on Capitol Hill would deal with whatever the legislative agenda is. We would be silly arguing about whether any one of us is the central whatever, when we've never had a central whatever, and we never should. The Iraq impacts all of that. And some of us in civil rights will address how taking the uh, resources that we would have needed to do certain things in our community to Iraq was wrong from our vantage point. Someone that is an expert in foreign affairs from another vantage point. But I think that when we get into this uh, debate of looking for something that we never had, I think that it is absolutely a disservice to our people. And I think that we should, Martin Luther King was the only one with a federal holiday would be the case in point. He was never the singular leader when he was alive. Most people followed Dr. King, followed him after he got killed. He was thrown out of the Baptist convention. He was denounced by the Urban League and the NACP leadership for dealing with Vietnam. So at what point did we ever have a single black that all of us said we were following? The March on Washington in 63 only drew 250,000 people. We never had a million man march to the 90s. And Dr. King didn't call that march. A. Philip Randolph called the march. And if you would read the reports, people said up, he went up and spoke too long and upstaged the leaders of the march. Now in death, everybody, oh, I had a dream. But the dream was five years late. So I think we need to quit lying about leadership discussion. We've always had arguments among the leaders. We always had egos. Everybody always wanted to get out there. And that's part of what they do, just like y'all want to make journalist awards and get Pulitzers and all of that. And then people say, did you write the book or write the article because you wanted the Pulitzer or because you believed in it? Why can't you do both? Why can't you write what you believe and hope you get the award too? Well, why can't we do what we do so well we want people to remember us, but also at the same time we believed in what we were doing? We could at least be as smart as journalists. There you go. Well, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. I want to ask, ask all of you. Uh, this is